Right now at 3 o'clock, local investigators believe they know what likely caused a fire that took the lives of two young children. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amber Jayanth. Jessica Schmidt is at the alert desk with those new details. Jessica. So that newly released report, Amber, shows that fire investigators believe the deadly Witten Hills fire may have started right near an extension cord. So far, though, they have not ruled that as the official cause of this fire. We do know the fire broke out May 11th inside a Strand Lane apartment. Four children and their mother were inside when it started. The mom and two of the kids were able to get out safely, but five-year-old Addison Marshall and seven-year-old Elijah McKenzie were trapped inside. Rescue crews were able to pull the siblings out, but they were seriously hurt. Relatives said that Addison was without oxygen for more than 10 minutes and Elijah was burned on 30% of his body. Both children died at the hospital a week after the fire. Now back to that new investigative report. It shows the fire started in the kitchen. That's where an extension cord was plugged into an outlet. Now the cord was coiled underneath the metal dog cage where clothes and bedding were and a chest freezer was plugged into that extension cord. Investigators say they have not found any other heat sources in the area. They are calling this fire unintentional. The report also says the smoke detector did not alert the family to the fire. Again, this investigation is still open. At the alert desk, Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now.